In Japan, koi carp are revered as ornamental garden fish, but here in New Zealand they pose a huge risk to our fresh waterways. The New Zealand Bow Hunter Society has come up with a quirky way of targeting koi carp. Let's find out how they do it. But on a, on a, a good sunny day, they're easy to see. You, you'll see them right up. Sometimes you look ahead and you can see a tail. Yeah. Just going like that, or the, or the backbone. Like a bit of a, like a whale. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, you've got to be tough. Oh. So close. <laughs> Thanks for that. Fantastic. He's another big boy. But why are koi carp such a problem in our waterways? They're called the scourge of the waterways. They just get into the water, they cipher everything through their gills and just make a mess. The mud is mud, mud, mud. They get under the banks, the banks collapse, make streams get wider and wider, and they just, yeah, they just keep on, and that gets them all grass, and then you can get a nice, tidy stream, and they turn into just a quagmire and mud. Tell me a little bit about the uh, Koi Cup Classic. It starts uh, early Saturday morning at daylight, and, and you've got to be in roughly by about 5 o'clock Saturday to weigh in. And then on Sunday it's uh, about 2 o'clock finish and weigh in, and then we have prize giving and etc. like that, and look, there's usually a barbecue going. And... Well, I am currently the world team champion of the World Koi Cup Classic from this year. So how does it work? Uh, basically uh, you have a team of two people and you go out uh, during the uh, World Koi Carp Classic and you shoot as many Koi Carp as you can. How many did you get last year? During the last event uh, my teammate and I shot uh, just on 500 kilo of fish. How big is the biggest Koi Carp you've ever shot? Uh, the largest one I've shot is around 10 and a half kilo. What do we do with them now that we found them? Do they make a good feed? No, no, I don't eat them. Um, not many people do. Uh, mainly what we do in Arthur is bury them. Other than that, they're really, really oily fish. Good snapper bait uh, at times, not all the time. But we use them for burley on the Koi Carp Classic. We have a big mulching machine behind a tractor. Mulching through them, everybody's welcome to come in and take it it's for free. Or a slight donation to Rotary or something like that. Who would you rather be today? With so many of you bow hunters catching koi carp, there can't be that many left now. There's there's millions, millions left. You'll, you'll never ever get rid of them. You'll never get rid of them. They're here for life, I feel, unless they can eat themselves out of um, out of food. But um, they can breed three times in a season, and they go up to a million eggs at a time. Koi carp are sometimes known as possums of the waterways due to the destruction they create for our native freshwater plants and wildlife. Thanks to Bill and his bow hunters we've learnt more about the problems koi carp can cause and we've knocked over a few along the way. <laughs> close, close. I think I missed. <laughs> <laughs>